Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about configuring your Mikrotik router. And in the previous video I've shown you how to use the web interface. And we open the web interface by going to the router address and then we have complete access to all the configuration. Mikrotik however makes a tool for Windows that we can use uh, and it's generally faster and uh, easier because you can have um, more screens open at the same time. For instance here we have to choose between interfaces and bridge or files etc. While with the Windows tool you can have them open all at the same time so it's faster and easier to configure multiple things at the same time. You can actually download that tool from the Microtik website and it's here if you go to um, microtik.com slash download on the bottom you find uh, Winbox version 3.11 Now I went ahead and downloaded this already so I can show you that here it's a uh, winbox.exe and obviously that doesn't run on a Mac and today I'm going to show you how to run that on a Mac using a program called WineBottler. You can download that at winebottler.cronenberg.org. I'm not going to show you how to install it, but it's pretty straightforward. You can just download it, install, I assume that you know how to do that. And once you have done that and you have got your winbox.exe, we want to start WineBottler. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It takes a few seconds to load, it says updating wine bottler environment. So now wine bottler has loaded and um, on the first page you see some popular apps that you can install quite easily. There's uh, some usual favorites from the Windows environment and you can just click install to, to download them and install. Today actually we are going to use the advanced tab and we are going to create a new app bundle, that's how it's called and we want to create a new prefix. Here we have to select a file that we want to use. So we want to go ahead and open downloads winbox.exe and uh, installation mode is uh, just copy file to the app bundle system version info XP uh, is fine it will run on XP you can also choose any other Windows version here we don't need mono or gecko so we're going to remove that and we don't need any of the wine tricks uh, we want to make it self-contained so uh, we don't have to install the wine app every time we transfer it to a new computer. For copyright we're just gonna enter something that makes sense here. We enter Microtik and we can make it com.microtik.winbox. This is all fine and once we have set this up we're gonna hit install. I'll save it to the desktop call it winbox hit save this takes a few seconds and uh, once it's completed we are ready to run the app it says prefix created successfully so we'll hit ok we close wine bottler and I'll take winbox application that was put on the desktop earlier. So let's try if Winbox runs. I double click on Winbox. It opens up the Winbox connection menu. As you can see we have Winbox version 3.11 and we have the option here to fill in our router address. So that's 192.168.88.1 Log in with the admin user and in this case uh, I have no password but you can enter your password here and once you've done that hit connect and it's logged in 
let's make the screen a little bit bigger as you can see here we have all the options uh, as we have in the web interface and the nice thing here is that we can have the interfaces screen open for instance the address list all the addresses in the router some system resources for instance and so on as you can see it's easy to switch between the different menus and that makes configuring your router uh, much quicker you also have access to the convenient quick set menu as you have in the web interface so let me go ahead and close this so that was a quick introduction on how to install Winbox on your Macintosh you now have a convenient way to configure a router if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.